Hi everyone, Alex Tardy here, National Weather Service in San Diego. What a beautiful weekend in terms of the weather. Um, we had sunshine through high clouds, very mild, warm temperatures over the weekend. Now the rain is back, so some impact to our commutes with light rain across the region from a weakening storm. Now we're looking at a stronger storm for late in the week. Looks like it'll come through on Saturday. Here are the highlights. Light precipitation and the continuing wind in our mountains and deserts, but uh, that will just be light through Tuesday. A lot of places with less than a tenth of an inch of rain only. Stronger storm for late in the week. First, it's going to affect Northern California Thursday, Friday. That'll have an atmospheric river and a very strong cold front. That cold front, by the way, will reach us, it looks like, Saturday afternoon or evening. That'll bring us precipitation. Now, we are on the tail end of this storm, but it is cold and windy. Uh, it's a quick moving storm because we're on the tail end of it, so it's a very narrow corridor. Uh, coming through the Southern California region. Snow levels will get really low potentially later on Saturday. The below average temperatures will stay with us for Sunday and Monday um, going into next week. So really cool uh, fall-like storm uh, with beneficial significant rain and snow Northern California. Okay, here's the outlook. We're dealing with a storm now, so light rain. Uh, and the ongoing wind that we discussed, uh, mainly the wind will be the mountains and desert slopes. The next storm comes in late in the week. So we're probably going to see it Friday night uh, and especially Saturday. Now we do get the tail end of it, uh, but it's still going to have a lot of wind and cold air with the precipitation and lowering snow levels. Some of the showers will linger into Sunday as well with the cool temperatures. Okay, this is where we've been the past 30 days, really wet conditions, uh, two to three times above normal in the past 30 days in those purple shaded areas. That's brought areas along our coast from LA to San Diego to above normal and quite a bit above normal, 120 to 150% above normal and really near our seasonal totals. So the water year um, is shown here. You can see though that the mountains of California, the Sierra Nevada, is still in the yellow and orange. So the storm coming in is perfect to make up for the deficits up there. Speaking of two to three times the precipitation across parts of Southern California, including the deserts, here's a photo shared by National Park Service of Death Valley and Badwater Basin that's filled up with one to two feet of water in this desert. Surplus as well with snow. Southern California has also seen its share of snow with several feet of snow in February across even the Southern California mountains. This type of snow is going to be occurring in the Sierra Nevada coming up later this week. Okay, um, light precipitation, like I mentioned, less than a tenth of an inch for most areas with up around a quarter of an inch for the favored mountain areas that will be able to squeeze out a little bit more. This is a weakening storm system moving through Tuesday. It does have wind and the wind will mainly affect the mountain slopes and desert slopes, trying to get into our lower deserts as well, but primarily in our mountain passes and desert slopes as shown here. Elsewhere, not much wind. Now, statewide precipitation is looking like this. Really big precipitation with mostly snow in the Sierra Nevada and Northern California. So this is a classic storm system with cold air, atmospheric river, precipitation favoring central northern California, instead of favoring the central coast and southern coast like we saw in much of earlier February. What's causing the weather? So we got a split weather system right now. Cold air is not near us, staying well to the north. That'll pick up this weak storm that has filled and pretty much fell apart over the ocean the past few days. So as expected, it's coming through as a very weak system uh, through Tuesday. Now a stronger system, how do we know it's stronger? It's more compact, it's larger, it's colder, it's all together as one coming in late this week, Thursday, and especially Friday, Northern California. That'll swing through and weaken a little bit and we'll get the tail end of it over the cold front on Saturday here for Southern California. You can see it's right on top of us on Saturday. Atmospheric river, it definitely has an atmospheric river, which means two things. It has deep moisture 
sometimes from the tropics, sometimes from the Pacific, but it has deep moisture levels, a lot of water vapor, a lot of moisture, but it also has high wind to transport that. So that's why a lot of times we see strong winds with these atmospheric rivers. The total precipitation, the most likely scenario is this. Big numbers for Northern California. Southern California, very modest, moderate rain, but widespread. Uh, that's going to be, again, a little bit now through Tuesday, but most of this will occur Saturday and Saturday night. You can see our mountain areas could pick up a little over an inch of water, and that will be all snow. And then our coast and valley areas favoring towards San Diego with the path of the storm, less towards L.A., but picking up a uh, quarter to three quarters of an inch of water, mostly on Saturday. The outlook is shown here. Behind that storm, I mentioned it's cold. That'll keep our temperatures really cold for the first week of March, as shown here. Focus right on California. Opposite of that is the East Coast, where it'll be spring fever, very warm, mild temperatures, much above normal. So we get the tail end of the precipitation on Saturday and then showers on Sunday and much colder air will linger into early next week. Thanks for watching, everyone.